This is Fitness Blender's Upper Body Dumbbell Workout. For this workout, we're going to be going through three sets of eight different exercises in groups of two exercises at a time. You're going to need dumbbells or an adjustable dumbbell set, a physio ball or a bench, and an optional chair. Let's go ahead and get started with group number one, the chest press and the tripod row. Our first exercise is going to be the chest press. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Now grab those dumbbells you're going to be using, whatever weight it is. Now if you're using a bench, you're just going to sit down into that bench and lay back. Otherwise, with a physio ball, sit down and roll out until that physio ball is in between those shoulder blades and is out far enough that you can actually rest your head back on that ball. Now lift those hips up nice and high so you have a straight line from your shoulder down to your knee. And then that motion, starting with those dumbbells directly above that shoulder, slowly drop those elbows directly out to the side. Coming straight down, keeping your forearm perfectly straight up and down, perpendicular to the ground, and then press it right back up over top of your chest. So you're only going to drop as low as is comfortable. Those hands should come down just about chest level, no lower than that. And then slowly press it right back up to a full extension, but try not to lock that elbow out completely. You want to get it almost completely straight, but keep it just a little bit soft, and then drop right back down into that full press. Almost done. Just one more repetition, full press up, then drop those dumbbells down to your chest and sit back up or roll back up. All right, moving on to the next one. This is the tripod row, doing almost the exact same motion as the press, just in opposite direction. Go ahead and get ready and begin. Grabbing that dumbbell you want, get a nice flat back, then row that arm directly up towards that shoulder same thing, you want to try to keep that forearm facing perpendicular to the ground so it's perfectly straight up and down. Draw that hand up as high as you possibly can, but try not to rotate those shoulders. You want to keep those shoulders as flat across as you possibly can. Get a nice tight squeeze every single time. Trying to get that hand all the way up to that shoulder height. If you're not quite getting that high, then you're probably using a little bit too much weight and you need to drop that weight just a little bit. There's your last one right there. We're going to go ahead and switch sides. Same exact motion, just on that opposite arm. Nice slow squeeze, drawing that hand up as high as you possibly can. Keeping that elbow directly out from your side every time you pull up. And making sure that forearm is straight up and down the entire time. Never to rock it in towards that chest. Perfectly perpendicular to the ground. Just keep that motion going. We've got a few more repetitions. Just two more repetitions. Last one, nice tight squeeze, shoulders straight across, and let it relax. All right, moving on to the second round of the chest press. Go ahead and grab those dumbbells. Go ahead and lay out on a bench or roll out on that physio ball. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Drop those hands down nice and low, as low as is comfortable. Then press those hands straight back over top of that shoulder, keeping that forearm perfectly straight up and down. Making sure those elbows are straight out to your sides. Don't let them start sinking down towards your ribcage. Just keep that motion going nice and slow under control. Don't lock those elbows out at the top. You want to keep them just a little bit soft. And then nice and slow, full extension all the way back down. Almost done. Just two more repetitions. And go ahead and let it relax. Drop those dumbbells off. Go ahead and stand up. Grab one dumbbell. We're going to be starting right back into that tripod row. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Remember, get that back nice and flat, parallel to the ground. Then slowly draw that dumbbell straight up to that shoulder. Elbow straight out to the side. Trying to keep that forearm straight up and down your body's going to want to start pulling that hand up towards your shoulder, kind of rocking it in a little bit more. Try to force your hand to press out so you're staying straight up and down. Two more repetitions. Nice tight squeeze in that last one. And let it relax. 
All right, switch those sides. We're going to do the same thing on that opposite arm. Nice flat back. And start again. Remember, elbow straight out, forearm perfectly straight up and down. Nice tight squeeze at the top. Don't let those shoulders rotate. Two more repetitions. One left, nice tight squeeze, and let it relax. All right, moving on to our third round of the chest presses, our last one. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Concentrate on that motion. Nice, smooth, fluid motion. Keep it nice and slow. As those muscles start getting tired, you're going to want to start letting those dumbbells drop really quickly and then kind of bouncing them back up. Always keep them nice and slow. Never let any momentum build into that motion whatsoever. It's a nice slow press, down as low as is comfortable, and then press it right back up. Just keep working on trying to keep those forearms straight up and down, elbows straight out from your sides. Almost done. Just two more. One left. And let those dumbbells drop, let them relax. All right, go ahead and set those back up. Grab your single dumbbell. We're doing those tripod rows of the third round, the last round of these guys. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Nice flat back, drawing that elbow straight out to your side, trying to keep that forearm straight up and down. Remember, really focus on keeping those shoulders parallel to the ground. You don't want to let them rock, especially as that arm dips down. Try to keep them as straight across as you can. Just keep that motion going nice and slow under control. Almost done. And that's your last one right there. Go ahead and let it relax. We're going to switch sides. Same thing over on the other side. Again, get that nice flat back. Nice slow draw straight up towards your shoulder. Almost done, just two more repetitions. And there's your last one right there, nice tight squeeze, and let it relax. All right, let's move on to the second group. This is the overhead press and the dumbbell pullovers. We're gonna start out with that overhead press. So either sitting on the end of a bench or sitting on top of a physio ball, you wanna be nice and straight up and down, flat back. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. Grab those dumbbells, bring them up to shoulder height, then you're going to press directly over top of your head. Nice full extension. Keep those elbows just a little tiny bit bent to the top. Don't lock them out completely. Then nice and slow back down as low as is comfortable. Then press them right back up again. Similar to the chest press in the row, you want to keep that forearm perfectly straight up and down the entire time. You want those elbows straight out from your sides. Try not to let them rock forward in front of your chest at all. Just keep that motion going. Nice full extension directly above your head. Keep that back nice and flat. Don't let it arch out on you. And that's your last one right there. Go ahead and let it relax. Next one is a dumbbell pullover. Now you're going to be laying sideways across a bench on this one or using a physio ball in the same way you would for a chest press. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Those dumbbells are going to come straight up above your chest. Nice and slow. Drop them directly behind you, keeping those arms perfectly straight. Go down as far as you can, as far as you can control, and then slowly bring them right back over top of your chest. Now be really, really careful when you first do this exercise. A little bit of weight can go a long way, especially as you get those hands further over top of your head. So start really nice and light. Drop only as far as you control. Find out how much control you have, how much strength you have in those arms, and then you can always uh, increase the amount of weight accordingly. Just keep those arms nice and straight. Drop them directly above your head. 
stretch those arms back a little bit. You actually want to get a little bit of a stretch out of this and then nice and slow, pull them directly back over top of your shoulder, no more. You don't want them coming over top of your chest or your rib cage. You want them just on top of that shoulder and then out over your head. We're almost done. This is your last one right here. Pull it back over top of that shoulder and let it relax. All right, moving back to that overhead dumbbell press. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Bring those dumbbells up to that shoulder height, then press them directly over top of that shoulder, ending with that hand, that fist, directly over top of that shoulder joint. Nice and slow back down, kicking those elbows directly out to the sides. The main thing, make sure you're keeping that forearm perfectly straight up and down and that back perfectly flat, perfectly straight. You never want to have any kind of arch in there. Just a couple more. And here's your last one right here. And let it relax. All right, go ahead and swap those dumbbells out for something a little bit lighter. We'll be doing the dumbbell pullovers next. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Roll out onto that ball or laying crossways across that bench. Dumbbell in each hand, nice and slow. Drop them directly over top of that head. Stretching those arms out as best you can, only as far as you can control. Then pulling them straight back over top of that shoulder joint. Just make sure those arms stay nice and straight. Getting as much range of motion out of this as you can. Almost done. Just have a couple more repetitions. And your last one, right back over top of that shoulder and let it relax. All right, switch it back again. We're doing the overhead press. This is our last round of this one. Go ahead and get ready and begin. Dumbbells up to those shoulders, press directly over top of that shoulder joint. Now this being your third round, those shoulders are probably getting nice and tired by now. Your body's going to want to start arching that back really hard, trying to tilt that chest up towards the sky. So really force yourself to bring that chest back down so it's facing straight forward. You don't want to let your, your uh, chest or the front of that deltoid start taking over for this motion. So really be careful to make sure that back is perfectly flat, otherwise you can actually arch your back out enough that you hurt it. So really pull that lower back underneath you. We're almost done. Just one more repetition. And let it relax. All right, let's move on to those dumbbell pullovers. This is the last round of these guys as well. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Get those dumbbells directly over those shoulders, then nice and slow, drop them back as far as is comfortable. Now really start being careful on this one because this is your last round. Those lats are gonna be uh, getting pretty tired on this one. Those triceps are gonna be getting tired. So this is where you can injure yourself really easily if you're using too much weight. So only use as much as you can control. Just really focus on that motion, try to get as much range of motion as possible, but not pushing past that comfort zone. Just keep that motion going nice and slow under control. Just two more repetitions. One left. And let those arms relax. Drop those dumbbells off. We're moving to the next two. This is group three. We're doing an alternating curl and an overhead tricep extension. We're going to start you out with an alternating curl. Get ready. 
and begin. Now you can do these standing or seated. You just want to alternate those dumbbells so as one's coming up, the other one's already dropping back down and vice versa. So just keep those going in a nice even pattern. You can do them both at the same time if you'd rather. Just the main thing you want to focus on is the motion that you're going through with that arm. So you want that upper arm perfectly straight up and down. Try not to let it move at all. All that motion is just coming around that, that elbow joint. You want to try to keep that shoulder as stationary as possible. Almost done. And let it relax. All right, moving on to the next one. This is an overhead tricep extension. We're doing this with one hand at a time. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. That arm comes straight up over top of that shoulder. Only bending at that elbow, you're going to drop that hand back behind your head as far as is comfortable. Try to get as much range of motion off of it as you can. Then press it straight back up. You want to try to keep that upper arm perfectly stationary, that elbow directly above that shoulder, only moving that hand up and down. Keep that back nice and straight. Try not to let that back arch out. If you let that back arch, you can actually get to a point where you can actually injure that lower back. So really focus on keeping a flat back. And there's your last one right there. We're going to switch sides, do the same thing on the other hand. The hand straight up over top of that shoulder and begin again. Now you might have a little bit of limited range of motion on this one depending on how tight that shoulder is. You might not be able to get that elbow directly on top of that shoulder joint. But if you can't, Make sure that you really do a lot of flexibility training to try to get that range of motion back again. Almost done, just a few more repetitions. Really focusing, getting a full range of motion, dropping that hand behind that head. Almost done. It's your last one right here. And let it relax. All right, we're gonna switch back to that alternating curl. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. Keep that chest nice and straight up and down. Watch that upper arm, keep that elbow directly underneath that shoulder joint. If anything, you wanna actually feel like you're tucking it back behind you a little bit. Just trying to get as much range of motion on as you can, make sure those arms go to a full extension at the bottom, curling them up as high as you can at the top each time. Almost done. One more on the other side. And let it relax. All right, going back to that overhead tricep extension. Get ready. And begin. Hand straight up over top of that shoulder, elbow directly above that shoulder joint, dropping that hand down as far as it's comfortable, and then pressing it right back over top of that shoulder joint. Just keep watching that lower back. Make sure that back stays perfectly flat. You don't want to injure that lower back. Just a couple more repetitions. One more, full extension all the way up. And let it relax. All right, switch sides and do the same thing on the other side. Again, keep that elbow directly above that shoulder joint. Nice flat back. Almost done, just two more. And one more full extension all the way up. And let it relax. All right, moving back to that alternating curl. This is our third set, our last round on these. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Now those biceps are gonna be nice and tired by this point, so those elbows are gonna really be wanting to kick forward. So really be diligent about keeping that elbow tucked back behind that shoulder. Just keep that motion going nice and slow under control, just alternating back and forth. Almost done, just a couple more repetitions on each side. One more on each arm. And let it relax. 
All right, let's move to that last round of the overhead tricep extension. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Arms straight up over top of your shoulder. Keep that elbow directly above that shoulder joint, dropping that hand down as far as is comfortable, and coming up to that full extension. Just keep that motion going nice and slow under control, keeping that back nice and flat. Just two more repetitions. Here's your last one, full extension straight up, and let it relax. All right, we're gonna switch sides, do the same thing on the other side. Keep that elbow directly above that shoulder joint, trying to get as much range of motion on that arm as you can. Almost done, just two more repetitions. Here's your last one right here, full extension. And let it relax. All right, moving on to group four, this is the wrist flexion and wrist contraction. We're gonna start with the wrist flexion first. So grab a really nice light dumbbell to start out with. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. So either sitting on top of that physio ball with that elbow or across a bench, you're just gonna roll that dumbbell up towards you with that palm facing up towards the ceiling. Just roll it in as tight as you can and then let it flex out as away from you as far as is possible, as far as is comfortable. And then reverse it again. Curl it in really nice and tight and then let it relax back out away from you. Just keep that motion going. It's got a few more repetitions. One more. And go ahead and switch sides. Gonna do the same thing on the other arm. It's that same motion. Just try to keep that forearm completely and totally uh, flat and stationary. Only thing that's moving is that wrist. That hand is curling in and then flexing back out. Just two more. And there's your last one right there. Go ahead and let that one relax. Next one is the wrist extension. This is the exact opposite motion of wrist flexion. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. So roll that hand so that palm is facing down towards the ground this time. Let that hand drop down as far as is comfortable down towards the ground and then contract it back up nice and high, really trying to lift that wrist, the top of that hand up towards the ceiling as high as possible. You're not gonna have a really good range of motion on this one. This is a lot weaker position for that hand to be in. It's also a lot more awkward because of the way you have to rotate that, that wrist and that uh, forearm. So switch sides, gonna do the same thing over on the other side. Just try to get that, uh, keep that hand as, as parallel to the ground, as flat towards the ground as you can rolling it up towards that forearm as tight as possible, then letting it relax back down towards the ground. Almost done, just two more repetitions. Get your last one right here, nice tight squeeze, and let it relax. All right, we're gonna switch it back over, so that wrist flexion is next. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. That palm facing up towards the ceiling, that hand drop down as far as is comfortable and then flex it back in towards you. Trying to get a nice tight squeeze in that forearm as best you can. Always trying to keep that palm of that hand facing straight up towards the ceiling. Just keep that motion going, nice tight squeeze at the top of that range of motion as best you can. We're almost done. There's your last one right there. Go ahead and let it relax. We're gonna switch sides. Same thing on the other side. Just really be diligent about making sure that forearm stays completely stationary. Try not to raise or lower that forearm. All that motion you want coming around that wrist and that hand only. All 
almost done. Last one, and let it relax. All right, moving on to that wrist extension again. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Palm facing down towards the ground. Try to get that hand to curl up as high as you possibly can. Primarily feeling it in the back of that forearm as you arch that hand up. Just really keep working on trying to increase that range of motion. Almost done. And go ahead and let it relax. We're gonna switch sides to the same thing on the other side. Almost done. Just one more repetition, nice tight squeeze, and let it relax. All right, moving back over to wrist flexions, this is our last round of this one. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Remember, try to keep that forearm as stationary as possible, getting as much range of motion out of that wrist as you can, letting that hand relax down towards the ground, that palm facing up towards the ceiling, then curling it in towards that forearm as tight as you possibly can. Just keep that motion going nice and slow under control, trying to keep everything as stationary as possible. Almost done. Just one more. And let it relax, we're gonna switch sides, do the same thing on the other hand. Just remember, keep that forearm as stationary as possible and try to get as much range of motion out of that wrist as you possibly can. Almost done, just two more repetitions. The last one, nice tight squeeze, and let it relax. All right, let's flip that hand over. We're gonna do the wrist extension this time. This is the last round of this one. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. That palm facing flat down towards the ground, just lift that hand up as high as you possibly can. Again, trying to keep that forearm as stationary as possible. Remember, you're gonna have a little bit of limited range of motion on this one, especially as that forearm starts getting tired. Just try to keep that range of motion as best you can, trying to arch that hand up as much as possible. And there's your last one right there, nice tight squeeze. And let it relax, go ahead and switch those sides. Same thing again, keep that forearm nice and stationary, arching that hand up as high as possible, trying to get as much range of motion out of it as you can. Almost done. Just one more nice tight squeeze and let it relax. You just completed Fitness Blender's upper body dumbbell workout.